Good morning comrades and there's a reason for this excited face because today we are going to take the tractor out for its very first lap. Well actually I already did the first lap but as you may remember the GoPro footage got corrupted so hopefully today it's not gonna happen and otherwise we're gonna have plenty of opportunities because the track is finally open again. Robert and I we did a video on how to do the TF in these like special times and special conditions so in case you missed it check it out but today we're gonna tell you well I'm gonna show you what it feels like to drive this amazing machine on the track so without any further ado let's uh, get it started and enjoy the engine noise and the hard engine mount noise oh yeah let's go for the to the track for the track to the track for everything I'm just like ah, excited okay as we're rolling towards the car park or in this case towards the track entrance because car park is closed uh, let me uh, talk you through a couple of things first of all a lot of people always ask what's up with these things what do they actually do why are they here because it's a, like quite an unusual contraption well this is indeed what it's <laughs> uh, it is indeed the purpose is to slow everyone down because unfortunately although the track is right there next door people sometimes use the public streets to uh, well to express their speed and their emotions uh, if I may <laughs> lots of people are flashing everyone's like very happy to be on track and to see each other again so that's cool so yeah this is basically these things are there to slow everyone down to slow the traffic down for unfortunate reasons now uh, the car is still kind of cold, but more importantly, it is pretty much stock. It has like upgraded tires, but the brakes are stock. Um, but all I want to say is today we're not going to push or do anything crazy. We're just going to enjoy the track and I want to share the love for the track and for this <laughs> amazing car with you guys. And uh, I was thinking, how? what should be the video setup? Should I have two cameras, one facing me and facing outwards? Or should I drive POV? And I think, well, I decided to go for POV option in this case, uh, because I want to show you the actual driving dynamics. Everyone is so happy to be here again and to see each other. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> right, let's go. Season tickets ready. I'm not gonna wait for there, I don't know what's happening there. Woohoo! There we go. GoPro seems to be still recording. Check out my quarantine, uh, quarantine lockdown haircut, by the way. Gonna be funny to see that all on the race tracker pictures. And definitely uh, gonna be happy when the barbershops will be open next week again. All right. There we go, flat out. Woo, all the horsepowers. You know, when your car is, well, I'm letting him pass. Like, you know, it's not that the tractor is slow that is being overtaken by Miata. It's just probably, yeah, you see, it's very fast Miata, warming up tires, full race car spec. But um, there we go. <laughs> so happy to be here on the track again. And we're already doing above 100 kilometers an hour into Deer Garden compression, six gear. There we go, flat out. Left curve, so right curve, so stay on the right side and probably don't even brake. Well, maybe we should brake. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have had the. Oh, the, the tires the tires are working nicely. I should have had the two cameras set up because you should see my stupid smiling face. <laughs> There's a lot of grip. I mean, obviously I only driven this car on the streets and I couldn't push it. So I'm like still like experiencing, wow. And we also have LSD, so. I promise not to push it, but I'm just like so excited to be on track again and... We need to switch off ESP. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I 
should have definitely used two cameras, but there's going to be a, another attempt. We can do it later. <laughs> it's so good to be back out here again. Wow. <laughs> do I even need to slow down for Flugplatz? No, we can keep it flat. <laughs> Well, 140 through Flugplatz, it's okay. <laughs> I must say I'm very happy about the way the car drives. It feels stable, like now the weakest link is the suspension, because it's still stuck. And the seats, so I definitely need the bucket seats to come in. I also need to remap the car not only for the engine management but to be able heel and toe because if you brake and throttle at the same time the car thinks that you're panicking and it's like oh no 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 switch off the, the, the accelerator pedal so it only works for one gear for second gear you have to release the brake completely so it's a bit uh, a small detail oh my god am I going to overtake someone on this lap it's not going to be a super foxhole overtaking, but let's wait for it. That seems to be safe enough. I mean, being an official tractor, I could actually go straight through Adenau Forest, probably, right? But let's avoid doing that. Flat out! Oh yes! Using all of the track. Enjoying the view as well, while we're at it. could have taken it flat but <laughs> I said something at the beginning of this video that I'm not gonna go crazy but James left all good well I have no James to blame here so I'm very happy with the way the car performs the first lap of this year that you didn't get to see was on winter tires. It was a completely different story. And I think... I don't remember, did I have bushings already back then? It doesn't matter. The car is really good now. Oh yeah, I definitely had bushings because I already came back from, from Croatia and ever since didn't leave. LSD is performing nicely as well. Cannot hear any understeer or wheel spin. I mean, obviously we have so much horsepower here. <laughs> Although Brightshite is closed, yeah, it even says so. Still gonna take it easy, just in case, especially for my wall. Right, there we go. Whee! On top of Axmühle. We're almost there, come on! <laughs> and now is where all the torque comes in handy because the track is going uphill. So I probably shouldn't be braking until... Well, after Bergwerk, until Steinstrecke is somewhere. <laughs> Can go so, er so early on the gas. <laughs> Not because the car is so balanced, but because it's so slow. <laughs> Usually I would be staying on the right here. Not because of the ideal line, but because there should be a lot of faster traffic. <laughs> but at this point it's pretty easy and... yeah. I probably can even stay on the left side. Ideal line is on the right, but I want to reduce the radius and <laughs> reduce the track usage. <laughs> I wonder, should I upshift? Yeah, let's take it to fifth see if the RPM will be dropping. Ah, slightly, yeah. Ah. <laughs> if there is one car I don't mind to be being overtaken by, it's uh, Sebastian's uh, Cayman. 
I don't think it's him because he's probably stuck in France so maybe it's Manta Racing testing some uh, some upgrades for him well, like I said pretty much flat out to a Star Striker <laughs> never been this early on the throttle <laughs> Thumbs up to Martin. I'm almost flat out throughout the whole carousel. This is ridiculous. The car needs so much more horsepower. <laughs> but luckily next week we're gonna go on a dyno. Give it a chip tune. Yeah, yeah, you can pass. I'll be staying on the right and keeping it flat because... Because reasons. Okay, he doesn't really want to pass. Oh wow, if you can take this section flat out, then... <laughs> Alright, Wippemann! <laughs> We're gonna take both curbs. We're gonna take all the curbs, absolutely. That's one. And full on two. <laughs> Could have taken it wider. What was that? Oh, that was my lap ticket. Nice track usage. Am I complimenting myself? I mean, there's no one else to compliment me here, so, except for you guys. <laughs> Why is there no one at Ice Curve to take some pictures? That was frustrating. <sighs> no one in Flans Garden to photograph an amazing jump. You know, this car at this point reminds me a lot of the Sub 7 Up because you can go just flat out pretty much everywhere. And I cannot even wait for the. Oh, now there's a faster car that we can move over to. It's not the best place for overtaking, but uh, I'm pretty sure the guy's like, oh, he has creation license plates. Let's take it easy. Let's not take any risks. Yeah, so I was saying it reminds me a lot of the Sub 7 Up because you can go flat out pretty much everywhere. But not because the car is so balanced, but so underpowered at this point. so we can stay flat through here as well. <laughs> and that's the point where you're gonna do the, <laughs> the psychotic joker laugh. <laughs> Feels so good to be back. Well, guys i hope you enjoyed this video this has been an absolute dream for me uh and there's going to be a lot more dreams for me see you guys on the next lap um see you then i'm gonna cool down take it easy and then go out for more so thanks for watching i hope you're just as excited as i am to be back on the track here bye